Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. This is episode 38 and uh, we're probably going to die to energy but look at this carnage. We lost both our solar panels were here. Hercule took a load of damage and it took a load of missile strikes as well so all the work I did to repair that wasted. We've now got a graveyard of reavers and we need to do something about this. Adam this is just for you. I'm going to turn off the aerial. I'm not convinced, or well, not the aerial, the antenna. I'm not convinced this is going to help, but I'm going to turn it off. And if it does work, I'm going to name a ship after you because that's the least I could do. So that antenna is off. I'm going to make sure I have the antenna on here off as well. So let's just get in and do this one because quite frankly, I do not want to get attacked again if I can help it. And I don't actually need the antennas. Uh, I know where my ships are because I always park them somewhere. So hopefully that's going to help stop me getting attacked by Reavers. I need to get gold. So I'm going to head from here and go straight to the moon. It is super dark even with the lights on. <gasps> is that my cave? Yes. Let's make this a bit bigger. I don't know why I need to struggle to get in. And get it as close to the ground as we can. And then we're just going to turn them off. we got to fix this up as well. Oh my god. I, I don't have any components for this. Um, and I can't, I can't make components for that either. That's going to make things interesting, but hey, we're here for the gold. Let's get the gold and get out of here. This is like a proper gold vein. Why, how did I not find this last time? Did I just not go deep enough? Oh, I think that's what happened. This isn't good. They're getting really close. Sugar, 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 sugar. Uh, um, 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 um. Relocate, relocate. How's it getting so close? Oh god, I can't see where I'm going. That was too close. Can't go there. Um, we have to borrow dig another hole. Or do I just go down? I've got enough for us to go straight. Do you know what? I might just go down. I need to dig a hole. I've got quite a bit of gold and quite a bit of stone, but those things are really coming for me. And I haven't got enough ammo to deal with them. So I need to hide. Right. Can we park this down and forward a bit? Uh, turn the engine off. Okay. Too bad. But okay, I did take some damage. I lost two gun turrets. Oh... <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't good they're getting close again I've got 40k of gold I might just have to make a run for it I really don't want to lose this ship I might do a quick sweeping run see if I can grab some more gold on the way out I think about 170k is when I'm full so let's try and grab this I mean 80k 100k of gold more than enough but we need to get this ship repaired so we can do some things with it because we need jump drives if we can get the gold for the jump drives and the superconductors then we can realistically make a dash for mars to get some platinum all right guys wish me luck i don't know how i'm gonna do this that is so tight i'm really nervous because i can't afford this to go wrong i've only got one thrust so my acceleration is really slow My gun is doing its work. I'm using my thrusters for up to get me basically out of the hole as quickly as I can and away from the moon. I'll just gradually, actually, I should turn my arm thruster. So it's probably not going to help, but extra maneuverability can't be too bad, right? It's going to be a bit of a, a rocky ride back, I think, but it is what it is. So I'm going to start the immense journey back and I'm just going to aim a little bit north of where we're heading and hopefully we'll get there in one piece okay we've made it back well i say back well we're in 3k ish so it's not too bad now one thing i do need to do is make sure i put on my stopping for us because that will be embarrassing us and we want to head straight for the hidden cave here as well because 
most important thing is now getting this gold inside. So let's get this docked up here. But now we don't have any cameras. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. Okay. Up. Yes. That was the hardest dock I think I've ever had to do. Because you just have no control over anything. But more importantly, we need to get this antenna off. Because... Oh, no. Um... How do I get into this again? Anyway, you're the one that's causing me to get attacked. Right, let's get in here. Antenna. Right. Off. Antenna. Off. Antenna. Off. Right, so all antennas that I can see here are turned off. Okay, so what's next? We've got gold. That'd be processing. That is not connected. One thing I think we need to do is start getting... Oh, a decoy that did its job. Uh, one thing we need to do is get these gun turrets up and working again and make sure these conveyors will work. Because, quite frankly, without them, I'm, I'm just going to have a hard time. This is a bit of a test. There's a reaver there. I don't have any antennas on. And it's actually going further away. I hate to say this. I think Adam might have been right. We can just edit this out though. Okay, I've managed to double check everything. And everything's back on. I added a couple more decoys on. Like there's one, two there. Just near the hangar. That's probably really in the way. But... You know, if it if it takes a couple of shots, then all is well. I checked all this. Oh, no, I didn't. I went around the other side. Oops. So, yeah. So, other than this one, everything else seems pretty good. Can I, can I sneak it out of here? Come on. Yes. So, I think we're good. That gives us plenty of coverage of guns again, which is reassuring. Now, the next thing I want to get on with is I think I want to fix the shuttle fully. So I'm going to put a projector on that because without that shuttle, I can't even look at fixing these solar panels. Uh, this tower needs uh, a bit of welding up as well. Okay, I've managed to stick this projector on here. Probably not the smartest place to put it because um, I actually want to leave it, but... It now shows me, or will show me, all the blocks that need to be repaired. So, all I've got to do now is just go around and weld it back up. So, I'm going to grab the components I need and get this fixed. Okay, I've managed to get this welded back up, so it's ready to go back outside. But before I risk it, I think I'm just going to weld up that panel a little bit first. Uh, so it goes on in as complete a state as possible. All right, welcome back. I've managed to get all of this welded up. It really wasn't that bad. The hardest bit was sorting this out. Um, just because it was missing so much bulletproof glass. And it takes so long to build each of these. But largely, not too bad. A couple of panels missing. And that was more or less it. Uh, the conveyors in here needed fixing. I welded the tower up and I have refitted the rotors at the top and I've just moved it a little bit so I can kind of easily attach the panel while that's there. So we've got our advanced rotor head here ready to go and we've got our ship here ready to go. So yeah, let's... Uh, yeah, let's see if we can get this attached. I have no idea how this is gonna go. I do know I do not want to do this from inside cockpit view. My plan is to try and land also relatively close. Oh, I've got to jump out and disable my thruster underneath though, else I am gonna cook everything. So let's turn you off. I didn't see that missing block. I'm hoping the little one won't damage this, but let's let's find out. The big one definitely will. Let's come down here and 
We'll try and line it up so that if there is any damage, it becomes the conveyors that get damaged. Let's see. Okay, good. Now, there we go. Good, I can actually fly that, which is handy. I want to just get this away from the tower very carefully because, well, it's a little bit awkward to fly like this, to be honest. It is a giant solar panel after all. So let's come out forwards. We should come up like this. Oh, I feel like this is more scary than it should be. All right, let's see if we can get some height on this. All right, I'm hoping that this is going to be quite straightforward, but who knows? I've never tried to do this, so. Well, I mean, I've attached things, but I've never tried to do it like this. I don't know why anyone would want to do it like this. Okay, so how, how are we doing? So we need to come this way. Right, largely. Doesn't look too bad. I'm a little bit high of anything. Which is fine. And I want to rotate this around as well. Can I get a better angle? No, that's the short answer. That... Doesn't look too bad. I'm not going to reattach that just yet because you can see it just needs to come uh, down a bit. So let's just jump in, see if we can get that done. That should be it. That should be perfect. Let's let's try it. <laughs> Please don't explode. Ah. Uh, no, 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 no. Damn it.